before I start, I'm going to check a few things so I'm not wasting my time. Um, who do I know this? The steering's actually doesn't have a lot of play in it. I did notice the deck lift worked and the deck adjuster isn't seized. Okay. Uh, let's get to the engine here. It does have oil in it and it's dark, but it's not too bad. In the half halfway mark of the cross hatch. Oh, it does turn over, but I'm dry belt. Okay, I'm just going to set the brake. Oh, that's crusty. That's pretty crusty. That may need to be oiled or cleaned up. I think that belt's still moving. Nope. Okay. It is. This thing has a lot of compression. That's a good thing. All right, I'm gonna try and boost it. to the muffler. What? I don't feel that. I hear the hour meter ticking. Oh. 651 hours. I guess it's Decent amount. Hmm. Okay, so it's got an electrical problem. I'll have to figure that out later. I'll take the hood off now. Don't oh, need that in the way. change I'll probably just put a battery in it and those cables are terminal ends are in pretty bad shape I think the positive is gonna break so but it is getting power to the rest of the, the system here just started not clicking for whatever reason all right Hook the booster key pack back up. Positive ground. Turn it on. I'm just gonna give the PTO button. that gets dirty inside and doesn't let you start because the starter circuit goes up through the PTO switch. Nothing, nothing to do with that. I have my parking brake set so the seat switch shouldn't matter but nothing. 
and my brake. Maybe it just needs a bit more force. Sometimes it doesn't connect to the switch just because of a mechanical problem, like something worn out. That's not it either. wire to the starter is getting any power. I mean the little wire that goes to the solenoid. to the starter to the solenoid so there's a big wire that goes to the solenoid on this starter then you got a little tiny blue wire which I'll show in a picture um, and I've got 12 volts right to the starter so unfortunately this really expensive starter is no good okay I probably have a used one there's the starter on this Kohler engine it's a solenoid shift starter a um, little bit different than most starters you'll see. Kohlers seem to use a lot of these on their older engines, the commands. Um, that's, that wire there goes right to the battery, so that's live. That's 12 volt positive. And then there's a little tab right here with a blue wire. And that's, that's your little um, 12 volt to tell the starter to engage and start the mower. So you need 12 volts to this little wire. This wire, the path, goes from the key switch through the brake switch, through the PTO switch. Um, so there's a few brakes in it before it comes to the starter. So if I'm getting 12 volts to here, that's a good thing. That's what I want when I hit key, the key switch. Start position. Start. I'm getting 12 volts, but I'm getting nothing out of that starter. All right. Before I change the starter, I'm going to use a special tool to see if the starter will give me a little bit of uh, movement. So just a fancy little hammer. Oh. It, want, it wants to move now. Maybe the solenoid is just stuck. That's awesome. Oh, it's trying to turn the thing. The battery might be so dead that uh, even the booster pack won't. I, I, my, I think the, yeah. Probably got bad connections. Oh. All right, awesome.
All right. I'll try and give this a start. Um, new batteries in, the wire connectors have been changed. Um, I'll just try and start. Break is set. Oh, that's ready to start. Okay, I'm gonna take the air cleaner off. I don't know what I'll find under here. Usually come off a little easier than that. Oh, mouse nest. Look at there's the acorns. Mm, they ate the pre-cleaner. That's all that's left. Okay. There's probably more in there. Maybe not, but okay. Alright, I'm gonna try giving it some fuel down the intake there. Got my mustard bottle. Not too much. Bottle it up. Start. Check what's in this fuel tank. And that looks like that's water and I have no idea, but mostly water. Yep. I'm gonna jack the front of this machine up and get all the water to go to the back of the tank. If there was a customer's machine, I'd take the tank right out, clean it. But this is just this is mine. Mighty back out, or you can just siphon it. You could, if this was yours, you could just siphon it out. Do your best. This one's pretty beat up. It's, it's, yeah, it's not working very well. That's gross. Oh, there's still ice in it. Okay. I'll have to let it thaw out also. 